Welcome to SQL Handbook. My name is Shashin, and in this video, we're going to go through how to identify and remove duplicates from a table in SQL. This is a very common question you would get in an SQL interview. So I hope this helps. Let's get into it. So here we are in SQL Silver Imagine Studio. And for me to demonstrate how to remove duplicates, I've kind of given us a small problem to deal with. And that problem is over here. The orders table did not have a primary key and someone inserted the same value into the order ID column. So now please remove the oldest duplicates from the orders table, right? And note that order ID is meant to be unique. Okay, so this is the orders table right over here. So let me show you guys. You can see that we have what, five columns and about 11 rows. Now, this table is meant to have a primary key and the primary key is meant to be order ID column, but it was not enforced. So the error of having duplicate values could now happen. And as you can see in the order ID column, we have duplicate values for order ID one and order ID three. You can see that the two bottom over here are one and three as well. So that shouldn't happen, but it has. So now we are tasked with removing the oldest duplicates from the orders table. It says oldest, that's quite key here. So we have to remove between the two. So for example, let's look at order ID one and let's compare the two. We can figure out the oldest record by looking at the order date, right? So for this one, we have the record in 2023, 9th, 20th, and same for this record over here in row, row number 10, right? So these two rows are actually full row duplicates. So in this case, we just gotta remove one of them. It doesn't matter which one, we just gotta remove one of them. So let's look at order ID number three. You can see order ID number three has a different order date to its duplicate, right? The duplicate has 2025, whereas the other one has 2024, right? So we have to delete the older one, which means we have to delete this one over here as this is the older duplicate, right? But how do we actually start this? So let's, let's assume that we didn't know what the duplicates were. I know we can tell by just looking at the table here, but this is a very small table. In a real business scenario, you're gonna have a table with millions of records, right? So how do we find the duplicates in a table that large? Well, there's two ways you can identify duplicates. One way is by using group by, which I don't recommend, and I'll get into that in a second, but essentially you can write a group by clause and you can pick the primary key and do a count based on the primary key. In this case, the primary key is order ID. So we do a count aggregation on that. We group by the order ID column and we say where the count star is greater than one, which would get us order ID one and order ID three, right? That makes sense. And each one has a count of two. But the issue with doing a group by is that now if I want to remove, let's say I want to remove one of the duplicates, how do I do that? Because in this result set, I'm only told which order IDs have duplicates. I'm not able to pick the one that I want to delete, right? Now we know order ID one is fine to delete either one, but order ID three, I got to pick the older one, right? If I do a delete statement using this kind of result set, I'm going to delete both rows for odd ID three and both rows for odd ID one, which is not removing duplicates. You're just removing the entire value itself. So that's not what we want. We want to remove just one row. So then to do that, I recommend using the row number function. It's a window function. And what you can do is, for example, over here, I have a select star from orders table and I put an extra column. The extra column is using the row number function. I write row number over, this is a syntax for writing a window function like row number. And in the over clause, we have a parentheses where we say partition by odd ID, which is meant to be the primary key, right? So primary key is odd ID. And then we order by order date. And the reason why we order by order date is because we're trying to number the rows dependent on what's the older record. So that's why we use order date and we do it descending order, right? So let me show you what this would pull up. So if I were to run this, I get the whole table back and you can see it partitioned the data on order ID with the row number column over here. This is what our row number window function derived. And you can see for order ID one, we have row number two for the duplicate. And same for order ID three, we have row number two as well for the duplicate. Now you can see that the order date, ordering by order date in the window function is quite important because what we did here is that we're saying order by order date descending order. So then, the most recent duplicate will be ordered with row number one, right? So in this case, we got the most recent order, 2025, as row number one, and the older order, 
2024 as row number two. Now this is useful because now we can specify which row we want deleted. In this case, we want this one to be deleted as well as one of the uh, rows for order ID one. We don't really care about that one because they're both the same, right? The order date is exactly the same for both of them. So it doesn't really matter. But for order ID three, it does matter. So now we know row number two is what we're gonna to target to remove. What we can do is we can put this query into a CTE. We'll say with CTE as open bracket, then close bracket. So this is our inner query. We'll put a tab there, right? And now we can query against that. So I'm gonna just say delete from CTE, right? Delete from the CTE where row num equals two, okay? So now if I run this query, two rows were affected. If I go back to the original table, select star from orders, you'll see that there are no more duplicates in the table. And the for order ID three, 2025 was kept and 2024 was removed, which was the older record. And we wanted to keep the new record. So doing it this way satisfies our need of removing the older duplicate and keeping a newer one. And that way we solve this problem. So. I hope that helps in identifying duplicates and removing them. Like I said, you can use group by to identify duplicates, but try to use row number function as it's very versatile also in removing the duplicates as well, the specific duplicate you wanna remove. I hope that helps. If you learned something from this video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe below. I'll see you in the next video.